Let's make some pumpkin puree out of our Cherokee tan pumpkins we grew this summer. First, just pick, go through your stored pumpkins and pick the ones that look like they may not last as long as the others. Those are the ones I would puree or cook first. Now, I've went through those already. Um, these guys still look pretty good. Some are just dirty from where they were on the ground growing. But for the most part, these guys look good and cured. I still see a little bit of green on some where they're still drying and curing. But others are good to go. So, all right. These will be what we have left in storage. Let's go cut up some pumpkin. So I have already done a couple. These were some smaller ones we had. Um, all I did was cut them in half. Um, and then I took out the pulp and the seeds. And I'm putting them on a cookie sheet here on parchment paper. You want to put skin side up. Here's another one. Um, I've got some more that I'm fixing to cut up and put on here but yeah you just cut them in half scoop out the seeds in the pulp put them on a cookie sheet parchment paper and uh skin side up <laughs> um right now i have my oven on 400 um and i'll bake them for probably about an hour and Usually, if you can stick a fork through them, they are done. So, let's get to it. So, here's a couple more that I'm going to uh, cut and remove pulp and seeds and add to the cookie sheet to bake with those smaller ones I just showed you. Um, and just some of the reason why I picked these ones is because this guy has like this hole right there so just little details like that where they where they look like they might won't um last through the whole season like these guys from everything i've read say that they will last up to a year or better so um so yeah so i picked these guys washed them up i can't get all that off of there but we're not going to eat that part anyway that's just the skin so it's no big deal So basically, you guys, I'm just cutting the tops off of my pumpkins. And then just, here's the pulp. I'm just kind of like scooping the pulp and the seeds out. Um, I was going to show y'all. If y'all wanted to save seeds, you see these darker seeds? These would be the ones you'd want to keep, these dark looking ones. Those are the mature ones. Those bright white ones are not mature, but those dark looking ones, these ones, are definitely mature seed. You could just dry them out and save them and grow some more pumpkins for next season. Now, I won't be saving any of these. I have already... Um, made some pumpkin puree, puree so I've already saved seeds from that batch so this pulp and seeds will go to our chickens and they absolutely love pumpkin they love seeds so this will be an awesome treat for them so I wanted to show you all this I just cut this pumpkin open and it was one that had these holes in the side he is obviously, I don't know if you can see that, he is obviously not a good pumpkin. Look at all that. That's all rotted looking material. So this pumpkin we will not be using. He's going to go straight to the compost. <laughs> and honestly, that pumpkin, he was... Um, he was kind of like leaking, like he was leaking like a sugary, syrupy, like 
So I could tell something wasn't right, but he's the only one that was doing that. And you can definitely tell he's definitely discolored and looks, yeah, that's not good. So we won't be eating that one. <laughs> so this was the other pumpkin. And I just cut him open. He's bright orange, looks healthy yellow, smells good. He looks amazing. He had that one spot I showed y'all. So what I'll do is just cut that out, but the rest looks great. So here's the pumpkins that we're going to be baking at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, I wanted to show you the bigger one. All I did was cut that little notch out where it had that bad spot that we saw. But yeah, uh, they look pretty good. No problem. So we'll cook these up and I'll show you when they get done cooking. Okay, so I just pulled these out of the oven with about 15 minutes to spare and it looks like it was kind of overkill, like I didn't need to cook them that long, but I guess because these were smaller pumpkins, they really didn't need to go that long, but um, it's fine. Um, we can uh, still use them, and once the, um, I'm going to let them cool off, um, and we'll pull the skin off of them and see what kind of pumpkin meat we're left with. And once that all cools down, we'll puree it in the food processor. All right, you guys, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, really, I'm just gonna come through here and peel the skin off of this stuff. Uh, it's really easy. It pretty much comes right off. Um, what you're left with is the meat of the pumpkin, and that's the part that we will, uh, puree. So, let's make sure we get all the skin off. Um, and once I get all the skin off, I will show you how I puree it in the food processor. Sorry, that's my... That's my washing machine in the background, if y'all hear it. But yeah, it just peels right off. So here's what I eat, ended up with as far as like the pumpkin meat. Here's all the skins. So what we'll do is throw this in the food processor to get it nice and smooth and pureed like baby food. <laughs> But, oh my goodness, the house smells amazing. Smake, it smells like a baked pumpkin bakery up in here. Love it. Alright, so here's the food processor. Here's my pumpkin. I'm just going to go ahead and put it inside and we will puree it. Alright, let's put the lid on. Just a little bit longer.
Yes, there we go. That looks better. So, most of my recipes call for like a half a cup to a cup of pumpkin puree. Um, here's some I've already done. Um, what we'll do is just measure the puree out into this half a cup and put it into these little baggies. And then I'll put it into a freezer bag like this. Kind of like a double seal going on here. You can just thaw them out and use as needed in little half cup increments. I've been making stuff like <clears throat> pumpkin French toast, pumpkin waffles. I mean, you can really put pumpkin puree in anything and get um, the taste of the fall season. Uh, this is the time for pumpkin everything. So now we got our own pumpkin puree and we won't have to buy store bought. And. It's nice to be able to use what you grow. So, y'all seen us, we grew the uh, Cherokee tan pumpkins. And so, we're going to put them to great use. All right, y'all. So, grow your own pumpkins. Make your own pumpkin puree. It tastes so much better, so much fresher.